Good morning and welcome to Geringer. Geringer, get Gerin. We were saying Geringer, and then the two hiking guides that we've had were saying Geringer. They were accenting like the E. Word, <laughs> so I hope we're saying that. However you say it, it is absolutely beautiful. Waterfall, waterfall, waterfall. There's so many waterfalls. Yeah, so the captain this morning when he was announcing that we'd arrived, he was like, yeah, this place is UNESCO World Site. It has one of the most beautiful waterfalls in the world. There's also like hundreds of other waterfalls throughout the city. <laughs> How are you saying it so casually? Do you see that one right there? Oh, the cheeky one behind the trees? I just found another one as we were talking about the waterfalls. And then I just turned to see if you saw that one and I saw another one behind you all the way up there. This is insane. Is that a waterfall? Yeah. That's close enough. There's supposedly one of the best ones in the world, Seven Sisters, is kind of out this way and around the bend. We didn't see it this morning, but we will see it this afternoon when we go by. And I think the captain might be doing a 360, yeah. like spinning the ship in the fjord, which is insane. Um, today we have a very exciting day. If you look over near the grass roofs over there, that's like a little two-seater electric kind of like go-kart car thingy. We rented those because a lot of Geringer is, or Ger Geringer is like super beautiful and it, it's all super close, but you kind of need like a car or a bike to get around. So Eagle Road is supposed to be a crazy like switchback road that goes up the side of the mountain to a huge lookout point. Mm -hmm. There's a ton of waterfalls. There's one waterfall you can go behind. There's some crazy farms with like the grass roofs and things. So we're just gonna kind of old school Trev and Chelsea explore it today. Yeah, my favorite type. Chelsea, I think we're gonna rate your windjammer plate today. Yeah. You better make a good plate. Ooh, I just found a game changer. There's what? another omelet station all the way over there. Oh wow, that's gonna have a shorter line. Yeah. <laughs> plate and silverware off to a good start. Oh, you're like following me around. Yeah, there's no way you just pass this. Or do you get those later? I normally get those later so they're fresh and hot. Okay, so she's delayed bacon and hash browns so far to wait for the fresh ones that come out. Out, this right? is a, a pro tip. All right, eggs. I like it. I don't really like eggs, but I know I need more protein, so I gotta like make it. Your eggs to cheese ratio is pretty funny. Leave my eggs out of it. Fresh bacon has been added, so here she is. The vulture finds its prey. The trick is you gotta find good bacon, but you can't take too long because I was behind a guy yesterday and he picked out like 12 pieces of the perfect bacon. It was taking forever. Thank you so much. Avocado toast without grapefruit on it because she's allergic. Okay, I had it the first day and it was really good. And then the second day they did it with salmon, which is normal. And I can't have it. But today I was like, oh, I can get it again. It was grapefruit. I also can't have that. I think I'm skipping the oatmeal today. I know that's really Ooh. No. Cold cuts. Okay. Switching it up a little bit. This pepper jack actually looks really, really good. I'm going to get some of that. Now this is the most important part. Don't mess this up. The yeah. crispness on that. Yeah. That's what I'm talking mm. about. Salsa for the eggs, and then probably a little ketchup for the hash brown. And that is a pretty good looking plate. I'll give that a 7.8 out of 10. That's not too bad. I thought you were going to say worse. Like in his hand. No, no, no. Like, I think you like get, like, yeah, yeah. Take your pocket, your phone out of your pocket. <laughs> this is better than the bog. Yes. <laughs> this is a bog man, bro. <laughs> Look at these with the Lambo doors. This is going to be so much fun. So a little bit of pressure. We are going like 20 kilometers up the mountain and that'll take about 95% of the battery. So we need to be careful on the way up. Don't go too fast. Don't stop too many times. And then on the way down, it'll regenerate and like you'll gain battery back. But on the way up, if you don't do it right, you won't make it. One and done. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna lie, I don't envy you. I would not fit back there. There's zero percent. I think we're both gonna have to be scrunched. You can't go all the way back and I'll let you go back as far as possible. How about that? <laughs> oh my god. Here, thank you. <laughs> Oh. Yep, bit of a tight fit. You ready? I'm ready. This is the most ridiculous. It's very cute. Little car that I have ever seen. Look at these roads that we're taking too. Just straight up this mountain. The problem with the battery is scaring me a little bit. I really don't want to see that thing fall. He said if you keep it on the second bar of like output, then you should make it no problem. Hopefully he's just telling us to make us scared to make us chill out because I don't want to run out of battery. I think we go straight. I don't know what this guy's doing, but we I think have we have to go all the way 
up first and then bring it back <laughs> Let's to the go. Light. Diego, how you doing, bro? We're going to snipe back here. <laughs> this looks so insane. And leave no trace in this vulnerable environment. So you are a friend of the earth in a vehicle that reaches where buses and regular cars cannot. Babe, she's talking to this us. Is so cool. I don't want to alarm you, babe, but we are already a bar down. Two bars down. Getting nervous. Oh my gosh, this is so incredible though. We even have like a little skylight. Oh, this is insane. He did say there's one point where if you miss the left turn, you will not make it back up the hill. So we need to make sure at the lake we take a left turn. The old knobs wow. The, super modern twizzy, clearly the weirdest thing about this car is this is not the horn. The horn is on your turn stock, your turn signal stock. <laughs> for the past years in a cave. It really is. Just unbelievable. We've seen Norway from so many different angles this trip, babe. We really have. From the water, from the sky, from the roads. From the side of a mountain. From everything. This is a lot easier than yesterday, that's for sure. Yeah. The buses don't leave a whole lot of room. I wouldn't want to be on a bus doing this. I wouldn't either. I can't imagine how much skill that takes to be able to drive and these kind of hairpins, but wow. Look at that, and we're not even close to halfway there. Look at the waterfalls. They're everywhere in here. Oh my goodness. This is so beautiful. Wow. All these houses and barns with the grass on the roof is so cool. Garrett was telling us that back in the old days, they did that for insulation. Now, obviously nowadays it's, you know, we have a lot better materials and things, but they still do it for culture and, and heritage, which is pretty cool. It's crazy how the landscape changed up here because of the wind. We've got the glacier right there. It's all hard rock and flat grass. It's not the green beauty that was down the fjord. Hopefully that means we're up on top because the battery is dipping. I'm pretty sure our viewpoint is up there. We're getting close. That's the lake he said you have to take a left at, so we'll make sure we don't miss that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Dal Sniva, that's where we're going. So this is where we want to take a left. I can see why people would miss this turn. Oh my goodness. All right, five kilometers to Dal Sniva. That is unbelievable. This is a hotel you can stay in, by the way. And there is a cheap toll that you have to pay, but I don't think there's anyone here. There's nobody here. It says pay at the ticket machine. Oh, okay, perfect. All right, 170 knock, and I think we are good to go. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> this is wild. And we have just about made it to the top. Oh my gosh. What'd you say? It's <laughs> one bar of battery left. We've got three, so we're doing better, Chels. It's all that time I've been putting in the simulator. I know, I know, the, the, I'm hitting the apexes, feathering the, the throttle a little bit better. If he doesn't make it and we have to push it, yeah. I, I don't think Alex was listening to the two bar rule. It looks like we're driving into the sky right now. It really does. There's nothing in front of us, just sky, just blue sky. Look at that. We were just talking about those glaciers and we're up in them right now. That's so wild. Two bars left and it looks like this is the top up here. Oh no, is he slowing down? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, no, he still has some. This looks like it's the hardest part though. <laughs> what a genius idea for a tour though. This is so cool. You don't even have to pay a guide. Right? Right there. She's working for us. This has been amazing. And it looks like that is the sky bridge up there. And we can regen a little bit while we're going. And... How many bars do you have? We made it. Two bars. Were you not listening to the rules? One bar. Yeah, because he told you you weren't supposed to go over two and you're supposed to drive yeah, it, it carefully all the way up. <laughs> Lambo doors, though. <laughs> My bag fell out. <laughs> oh. <It's> so <laughs> I have to maneuver myself out. <laughs> yeah, putting you in a box in the back seat probably wasn't the best idea after yesterday. My only complaint is that because it's like just solid all the way through here, the wind comes in this window and it whips around <laughs> this way. So Diego and I are in the back like, <laughs> Oh my goodness. Look at the, sh you can see the ship all the way down there. There's no way. 
just a baby hike. Nothing like yesterday. Nothing like yesterday. It's a lot colder than yesterday. Everyone we've talked to has said how lucky we've been with the weather this week. Today, I mean, it's beautiful. At least it's not foggy, but it is a little bit cold. <laughs> like this down there though. It didn't. Our little GPS was telling us about how when they were making like the settlements and stuff down in the fjords they had to try to evade rock falls and avalanches and things. Imagine that coming down and hitting your house. Also that is the road that we just took. I love all these little stone stacks. Woo! Look at her hair. Oh my goodness. Dude it is so cool. <laughs> the cape. Made it to the Dalsniba Skywalk. Oh, so it's literally a skywalk. Like you're walking into the sky. They've even got a little shop and cafe up here. I'm gonna see if they have hot chocolate. Ooh. Oops. <laughs> Priorities. Oh my gosh, you can smell the cinnamon rolls. Oh, I could get a hat for the drive back. Can I just get one of these? That'll look really cute and. Florida. So we've been told that we have to try the milk chocolate in Norway. We thought we found it. Milk chocolate, a little piece of Norway. Perfect. I'm For about 50 bucks, look at these hoodies. These are quality. Embroidered, you have like a, a little Norway flag on the back and then you have the tag on the side. These are nice. Super soft, very thick. I think we might have to do it. Got the essentials. And one of the cinnamon rolls. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Red Bull, water, no, chocolate, again. two hoodies and cinnamon rolls. Is that gonna be, is that flat water or sparkling water? It says still. Thank you. Oh, okay, okay, I got nervous. It, it says S-T-I-L-L-E, -L -L -E. I hope it's still. <laughs> My gosh, you can yeah. see the cinnamon rolls baking. They smell fabulous. <sighs> Fresh, hot chocolate. Thank you, my love. Oh, we called each other the same. Diego, cinnamon roll. Alex may be the chocolate king, but Diego's the cinnamon roll king. Back outside. Something I didn't know and I learned here in Norway. Yeah? Trolls have tails. Oh, look at the hair on this guy. I didn't know they had tails. Oh, wow, yeah. Yes. Luscious locks. That looks like you after three days of no hair washing. I was going to say, that looks like me after the rib boat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> look at that beautiful smiling face. I'm happy to be here. So this is Dalsniba, one of the highest points you can reach in this port. There's our ship all the way down there, the so first one. Because we took so many twists and turns, like my mind can't wrap around the fact that we're straight down from where we started. Right. You know what I mean? Because like, like we were just like this the whole time. 20, 25 kilometers. It doesn't really look that far, but I guess with the windy roads, it makes it that way. Back in the whip. We're using the blanket this time. Nice and comfy. We are going to Flujevit. It's like this little lookout rock thing. It looks so sick. I think it's on our way back. It looks Hopefully we can make it. We have an hour and a half until the ship leaves. We got to get down there. We still only have two bars of battery, but with the regenerative braking, we should be able to charge up as we go down these hills. At least that's the goal. Charles, we have not gained a bar back yet. I'm a little... <laughs> Everyone knows I have anxiety and you, you're making it worse. I'm just saying, I feel like we've gone downhill a lot and we haven't, we haven't lost, so that's good, but we haven't gained. You know, if we get stuck here, I think it's okay though. It's fine. It's a great spot. There's not a lot of housing. The rental guy literally said, if you don't take a left at the lake, that's how we add to Geringer's population. population. <laughs> He's like, you just get stuck here. He said, he said it happened to me two years ago. ago. <laughs> so you guys might be looking at Norway's newest uh, citizens. I'd find an airport and get out of here. It's a little cold. <laughs> Even the toll booth has grass on it. That's amazing. <laughs> I, I mean, like look at that. How cool is that? I really like the grass. I don't think that would do well with the uh, water and humidity in Florida, but I like it. Just take a look at that. That is unbelievable. Look how blue and clear that water is. And now we have this. Dumb and dumber. You're ruining our view. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to take this in. <laughs> <laughs> So you park here next to the bathrooms, the wooden bathrooms with the blue glass bottom, and then you come around down these stairs. There's a pathway back behind the bathrooms, and you just kind of follow the path down, and there should be a photo spot and a rock. 
He's following a TikTok to get here. <laughs> we found a TikTok to get here. <laughs> or Alex did. Go under a few trees, yes. <laughs> we went under a few trees. Yeah, we're here, baby. Is this This is it? I think this is the photo spot. Where's the actual lookout? Lookout's up here. Okay. So you shoot from here and you shoot back that way. Oh my goodness. Is it sick? Diego's not gonna like this one. Oh no. No way. Look at that. Yeah, the lighting is perfect, dude. Perfect timing. Please be careful, Charles. Oh goodness. That is insane. I don't know, babe. I think this has been a pretty special trip. It has. It really makes the shot with the uh, dirty, filthy hiking shoes, doesn't it? Yeah. Just we had to work to get here, dreams. <laughs> but it is pretty sexy. Love you. I love you we enjoyed the view for a moment, but unfortunately it was time to head back to the ship with an even more exciting view to come. This port's really interesting. Our anchor points are out in the water, so these guys take this little boat around and they untie our lines. We're pulling them back in here, and then the dock that we came in on is motorized, so it kind of opens and closes. So we can just pull straight out. So the Seven Sisters waterfall is like the thing that you come to see yep. here in Geringer. And we are about to go by it. The captain's going to be doing a 360. I think it's going to be coming up around this corner. You can see everyone is on their balcony. The top decks are super packed right now. We're going to try to get a balcony shot of Chels, and then we're going to run upstairs and try to get Alex on the flow rider. It's a bit stressful. We only get one shot at this but I think it's just around the bend here. It starts all the way up there. Yeah, look at that. And then at the bottom here, it's just falling. Up here, and then it comes down and it just mists the side of the mountain. That is cool. This place is unreal. This is so cool. All right, I failed one shot today. I can't fail the second. Ooh, our GPS updated. Okay, so if the sh why is it? I think that's wrong, but we're coming around the bend and it's gonna be on the right side. We're pretty close. Is that it? It has seven streams? No, that is not the Seven Sisters Waterfall. Well, I was just thinking that does not look very impressive at all. It's, seen. it's a nice waterfall, but that is not it. The suspense here is killing me. I know, that's a cool one. That is a nice one, but that is not Seven Sisters. So we're not at risk of missing. Or I hope so not. Well. It's It should be on the right side. Look at these light rays coming in here. Just like specifically shining on seven sisters for us it's just like lighting that space up she should be just around this bend i'm pretty sure oh my goodness we're so close we're slowly getting closer i looked at this a million times online it says it's on the right side starboard side it's marked as the oh, very oh, 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 oh. there it is oh my goodness look at that, that is do you see the houses where like, oh yeah. Like Imagine living next to that. Are you kidding me? I haven't seen a single thing that looks like a road though. And it's not like they came from the top and drove down. It's like... Knowing Norway, they probably paraglide in. That's what I'm saying. Like, are you flying in and out? Like, how did they even get there? Seven sisters portable. At first, we will come to a full stop and swing the ship 360 degrees. The swing will take approximately 45 minutes. I'm not sure if you guys could hear that, but the captain just came over the intercom. He said the spin's going to take 45 minutes. I was panicking. Yeah. I thought we were going to have like five minutes tops. We were ready to like go, 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 see it as much as we could. But now we get to actually chill and enjoy it. Oh my goodness. That is just magnificent. Hi. They're waving back. Legends. Oh my goodness. Also, can we talk about the amount of skill of this captain and crew to be able to do this. Look at the space that we have to the edge and they're gonna spin this big ship in that space. I was thinking about that earlier. Isn't it that a lot of our captains come from Norway? Yeah, oh yeah. They never, like, and a lot of the ships were built here. I think this is where Royal Caribbean really started. Wow, look at the majesty. It just looks like something out of a movie. It looks like something from like Jurassic Park or King Kong or, you know? <laughs> and it looks like we are starting the spin. Now, when you look at that, look at the space we have. It's very small. How do they fit a cruise ship sideways? And there's small boats in here too. There's a rift boat right there. I'm assuming those are guides to help or maybe pilots or something. I'm not sure, no, but I this, know. this is insane. This ship is gonna be sideways. I have never seen anything like this. This is, look at this, we are sideways. 
in a fjord right now. What in the world? Had to chill on the top deck to appreciate it. Oh my goodness. It's so crazy. Right now you can see both. Right? If you want me to be honest, this one, even though it's not seven twin falls. That one's just so much more aggressive, I feel like. Yeah. Seven sisters are very like gentle, beautiful, feminine falls. Right, this wispy. Just like, I'm here, baby. Right? Very, very thick, very rigid, very hard. Okay. It's none of those things. <laughs> Chels likes her men like she likes her waterfalls. <laughs> this took a weird turn. Okay, well, we just did a 360 right there. That is incredible. And now we sail on to... Hagesund. And as we sail out of the fjords, that is going to wrap up our Norway trip at least here on YouTube. So we did still have one more stop in Haugesund, which was beautiful. It was this quaint little town on the water, but I'm gonna be honest, it was such a packed week. We didn't do much. We walked around, explored town. We went swimming with some locals and uh, the local children were jumping off the top thing, death diving. They just showed us up. It was really embarrassing, but it was really fun. All in all, this was an incredible trip. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Norway was not on our bucket list for cruising or otherwise, but we couldn't have been more wrong. It's tough to say whether we liked it more or not than Alaska, but it's absolutely one of the most unique and adventurous itineraries on the planet. We couldn't have any better things to say and uh, we highly recommend it for anybody who wants to check it out. You know, we, we love the Caribbean, we love the traditional stuff, but this was truly a special trip. So thanks for watching, thanks for joining us. We will see you guys soon. We've got some more Caribbean coming soon. We've got Icon of the Seas, we've got all kinds of stuff. Channel's gonna be popping off and we'll see you there. Peace out.